Good morning guys, how are we doing? This morning is the 21st of January 2022 and it is a quarter to seven in the morning. Um, it is pitch black outside. It is minus three degrees Celsius outside. Um, yeah, and oh boy, the last 24 hours, can I just tell you. Huh. Most people would say it's a shit meat fan moment, but for me, it was more of a ping, 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 ping moment. And yes, there was that element of, you know, flying excrement, um, being spread about by fanage. But after looking at it, let me explain. So Tanya started work full time. And up until now, for the last, since 2012, I have been living on disability payments because of my back injury, because of the fibromyalgia, because of um, the PTSD. Um, and because of all those things, I have been deemed unfit for work. I couldn't go on as being a chef anymore because I wasn't safe in the kitchens. Um, because my legs tend to go out from underneath me without warning. I, I will just be sitting on the floor all of a sudden and go, oh, okay, well, that was fun. So, um, yeah. And I had to, that was a, that was a pivotal moment for me. I had to relinquish working, which I loved. I, I'd been a chef for 26 years. Um, I'd been working since I was 16. I, you know, I loved, I still love what I do, you know. I loved that I could bring people that little moment that was so special to their lives. You could see at the kitchen, you'd know if someone was proposing to their partner. Um, and you'd know that. And we'd all be sitting there at the hatch watching to see what's going on when you know what's going on at that moment. You know, we'd all be watching. Or if it was somebody's birthday or anniversary or, you know, any kind of event or whatever, we were a part of making that and giving those people memories and doing all of those things. And then that was taken away. So I volunteered and started doing things for people that couldn't afford it and I'd cater for their events with their budget so if they had 50 quid and that's all the money they had for their wedding I would make a buffet with that 50 quid not charging anything for labor just buy ingredients with that 50 quid and just make everything from scratch so that they had a day they could remember and not put off ha may ha getting married when they want that's what they wanted to do because they never thought that they would be able to afford to do it so that's what I used to do and it got to a point where I couldn't even do that anymore <sighs> where actually making meals at home has become quite difficult okay but all the time, I have always been the person who brought in the money. I did that during when I was working. I did that while I was, you know, I was responsible for the bills and, and the money going to the bills and the money to feed the family and the money to feed the kids and stuff, even when I was married, because my ex-husband was absolutely useless with money. He was so addicted to credit cards and so addicted to gaming and so addicted to spending money on frivolous crap that if I didn't work, we would have been homeless living in a bus shelter. Okay, because that's that was the bottom line, you know. Um, and my kids would have been living in rags, which at one point they were. Because we just didn't have the money because I was at work. So when you when you have been, but even though, you know, having the skills that I've had and building up the skills that I have had over the years. When I did get put onto disability payments and my income dropped down to about um, uh, a C, 
sixth of what it had been. And I mean a sixth of what it had been. I had the skills to be able to make it work. I had the ability to be able to make it work. And I, although things weren't as comfortable, they weren't uncomfortable if that makes sense they weren't because i knew how to deal with the money i knew how to make things from scratch i knew how to mend things i knew how to do all of that i had those skills to do those because i'd been doing them for years for the kids and for myself and for our home because i never thought i i don't throw things away unless they're literally walking off to the bin by themselves and going look just bury me already Okay, I don't do it. <laughs> don't. <laughs> but when all of a sudden you're faced with the reality that you're no longer the breadwinner in the family, it can be a harsh reality and a shock, a major shock. So although we knew it was coming because Tani has started full-time work now because we realised that we couldn't we couldn't have the life that we want. We couldn't reach the goals that we want to reach. We couldn't do those things being in the place that we were at. We had to get in the water and we had to swim. Well, yesterday, I literally got shoved off the cliff. I literally got shoved off the cliff. I had rung up the benefits office and I'd said to them look my partner's now working full-time blah 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 and she said oh yeah someone will be in touch in the next 28 days I'm like okay cool all right that's not a problem so I was expecting in a month's time to get a call or get a letter because that's how they operate they take forever not this time they rang me up yesterday and said, that's it, we've cut you off. I'm like, what? <laughs> because I still had bills that were coming out of my account. I still had things that were coming out of my account. And I was, I was kind of relying on the fact that they wouldn't get be in touch for 28 days and I'd be able to pay those off and then worry about the next thing the next time and organize it into what what we had available yeah and i tell you what that's shock it's shocking and it's terrifying when you get shoved off that cliff and told to fuck to swim swim off you go swim and it's like <gasps> oh crap what do I do I rang my sister I rang my sister because I know she's been through it and she talked me through it she talked me through it she said you knew this was coming I said yeah but I wasn't expecting this reaction because I was I couldn't breathe my heart was coming through my mouth and my chest at the same time I thought it was like having being a time lord and having two hearts. It was like going voodoo, voodoo, voodoo. And my chest was so tight. I, I almost thought like I was having a heart attack at one point because I just like, I, it just hurt my chest, just hurt so much. It was just like, what happens? And I could not breathe because I had so, I was flooding myself in tears and snot. I, I was a snotty, teary mess. And I was just like, <gasps> It was ugly, I'm not gonna lie. But I don't think people talk about that. And I don't think people talk about the reaction that you will have when you are finally told, fly. This is your chance, do it. That reaction is your resistance and letting go of your own resistance and control of the situation. And the one being in charge. And Tani was amazing. He's just like, yeah, it's, 
it's not my money it's your money it's our money it's, it's what we do and if you've got bills to pay i'll just transfer the money over into your account and i'm like no one had ever said those words to me before never not in 47 years of my life 48 as of this year oh my god has anyone ever said to me it's fine so what i just transfer the money over okay <laughs> what this has meant though because i now have to do tanny is now self-employed as far as his job goes that means i have to do his self-assessment stuff i have to get a hold of the tax department stuff like that i'm going to do the same for myself and i'm actually getting oh <laughs> I'm getting that, you know, that what you know that Jess on Roots and Refuse calls it your knowing in your knower. Okay? When you know in your knower that something is right. This is my job now. YouTube is my job. Looking after our home. Proving what I, we can do with where we're at. Showing you guys sharing the skills and the knowledge that I've learned. I think for me over the last 12 months, I've been trying to find my feet, trying to find my voice, trying to do all of that because I came from a family where even though I had three degrees, <laughs> I'm not even kidding, three degrees, I have the equivalent of three trades and I have countless amounts of diplomas and etc. from adult learning because I just can't stop learning. I can't. But I was always told to sit down and shut up and I didn't know what I was talking about. And how could I possibly know what I was talking about? Because obviously you don't know anything. So, but I do know stuff. We all know stuff. And I know what I know because I worked hard to know it. And that is the stuff that I want to share with you guys. That I want to share with all of you. How, I mean, yeah, it's all very well. I mean, you've heard the saying, um, you know, you've got champagne tastes on a beer budget. Well, some of us don't even have a beer budget. Some of you guys out of the head don't even have a beer budget. You've got a rainwater one. And that's why I want this channel to be teaching about self-sufficiency on a rainwater budget. And to do that, we're doing it. And it doesn't matter if we've got more money coming in or don't have more money coming in. I can still teach you the skills to do that because we all got to do it and we got to start where we are and we got to be satisfied where we are but eager for more and that's that's pretty much it so there you go <sighs> YouTube said my full-time job teaching this stuff is now my full-time job I am declaring self employment as of today I still have lots of paperwork and stuff to go through but you know as I was falling off that cliff yesterday and doing the whole ah thing I was also doing tri triple black back flips and you know half pike turns and all of that kind of thing on the way down and I just feel like I'm about to hit the water and just do the most magnificent unsplashy dive and take off because we got this and if it wasn't for you guys and it wasn't for some of the messages I've been getting in the last few days I 
I wouldn't have made this decision. Honestly, I wouldn't have made this decision. <sighs> but I'm good with it. And I'm excited about it. It doesn't mean I'm not going to be an artist anymore because I am. I am an artist. I can't not be an artist. It's, <laughs> it's in me to do that. And I know that this video is running on a bit now and I'm going to go. But I just wanted to say, guys, when you're at that top of that cliff, you don't have to fall and belly flop. Just find your air, get in position and just go swimming because the water will catch you. And you got this. We got this together. I love you guys heaps. Thank you so much for all of your support. I love you guys always. Blessings.